When I was 10 years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out, but I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka's the southernmost port in the Empire, once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm going to get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Metal and shadows, we say. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. The Duke's probably not back from Dunwall yet. If we're lucky, the Howlers will be distracted by some score they're working. We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is all right. Wherever he is.
Always tinkering, painting, or living life with gusto. That's Sokolov. You've explained part of it, but what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. The new duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers, the Crown Killer. Adermeyer, all right, I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. There are a few black market shops scattered across the city. Brisk trades and bullets and knives these days. Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. This Dr. Hypatia. She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. So the crown killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. Sokolov seems so much older now. It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. Why is this here? 
It's Delilah. I say, your Imperial Majesty. I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. I'll always miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. When I left Crystal years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things and some good before and after the Rat Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the... The Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <clears throat> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. <laughs> 